Hey, what's up? I am Tony Making Food Mata, and today I am going to talk a little bit about something called glove usage. Um, as you see, I just skateboarded in uh, because we're on lockdown and it's quarantine. It's stay home, um, so you need to stay home. And if you are going outside, okay, if you are going to a store, I've been on three supply runs maybe um, in the past two weeks uh, and a couple of things that I noticed that I really wanted to take touch base with um, was glove usage and improper use of gloves um, so it kind of like dawned on me when I went to the store and I seen the person wearing their gloves the cat the um, cash register person right they were wearing the gloves, but you could tell that they were wearing gloves for a longer period of time because like you, they were like baggy and you could see being a chef and wearing gloves, you could see when people start to sweat in their gloves and when they've been wearing them for a longer period of time, okay? So it dawned on me that like that person probably didn't change their glove in like an hour and they've handled multiple money transactions that could have had the virus on that dollar bill. Okay, now I'm not an expert and I don't really know how long the virus can stay on things. However, it dawned on me that it's kind of like cross contamination. Okay, so if I put my glove on, right, this is my glove and I have it on and I handle raw meat, right, I am not going to touch any ready to eat food with it because I can cross contaminate it, right? So it kind of if you go out to the store and you're wearing your gloves and you're touching things and then you go and touch your car handle with your glove on that's been contaminated with some virus stuff it's gonna be on their handle and let's just say like you take your glove and you you don't take it off and you think you're safe and then you start driving but you have your glove on and it you know had some virus goo on it so now you got goo, virus goo on your driving wheel because you didn't change your glove and you touched something but you thought you were safe because you had a glove on, right? So then you take your glove off, okay? And then you touch that same steering wheel that you're driving with, okay? And then you, you know, rub your face or you're smoking a cigarette. People love to smoke cigarettes still, so you're smoking a cigarette. But now you had that virus goo that you went to the store with because you thought you were protected by your glove and now that goo or virus goo or whatever is on your steering wheel and you're smoking a cigarette and you're touching your face and now you got the virus okay and then you go home and your whole family is quarantined you think that you're you know just going out and saving the day and getting groceries and you don't know better but then you cough you get sick then your quarantine family gets sick okay so when you wear gloves, just keep in mind that they're not going to save you from everything, okay? It's like cross-contamination of meat and ready-to-eat food. Think of it that way. That's the simplest way. If I'm going to touch something at the store, think of it as raw meat, okay? Think of it as raw meat, and then whatever you're going to touch afterwards is going to get contaminated with that raw meat glove hand. So you take it off. And then that will kind of flatten the curve a little bit, okay? And then, another thing, when you are wearing your gloves, okay? Let me show you a little something something. Glove usage 101. Okay, we don't want to spread this thing, man. All right? So, when you have your gloves on, right? Okay, you don't, you don't touch your cell phone. You're not at the store because think about it again, okay? This is cross-contamination. Think raw meat, ready to eat food. Okay? So you grab something. It's got virus goo on it. Raw meat. Virus goo on it. And then your phone rings. And then you pick it up. You pick up. Drop my phone. Damn. So then, ah! So then, you, you touch something. And then you touch your phone and your whatever on your phone. But you think you're protected. But now you got virus goo on your phone. Right? And then you put it in your back pocket. And then you go and you pay for your stuff. And then you go to your car. And then you, oh, I forgot to put gloves off. And then I smoke a cigarette with my gloves off. And then I got virus goo. And then I talk my phone. And then I'm like, oh, and then I go home. And then I got virus. Like, it's, that's how it's spreading. Like, people don't just, 
Think about it as like raw meat, like food cross contamination, simple as that. And then when you take your gloves off, okay? When you take your gloves off, right? Okay, take them off like this. See, right here. Take this one like this, right here. And then you're not gonna contaminate anything and throw it in the garbage. Don't throw it in the Myers parking lot or Kroger's parking lot or whatever. Cause that's just wrong, man. It's littering. Okay? So I'm just letting you guys know, flatten the curb, glove usage, think of it like ready to eat food to raw meat or raw meat to ready to eat. Just be careful, man. Flatten the curb. Alright. So I am Tony making food mod. I'm learning how to skateboard because quarantine, why not? Uh, Tony Make a Food Mata, that's a short little demo on why you should stay home, why you should change your gloves, flatten the curve, and whatever, quarantine. All right, thank you and have a good day.